Okay, so now that we have our packages created, the next step uh, that I like to do is register our or install our module in .NET Nuke. Now you might think, well, isn't that something I do after I'm done coding it? Well, I, no, this is actually something we want to do at the very beginning. The reason is is because when we, inst we can install our module, register our module in, in our local .NET Nuke installation, we can add it to a page and we actually do our coding and testing as we go. So the way we're going to do that is to open .NET Nuke. And if you remember from the previous video, we installed .NET Nuke in um, using WebMatrix as our web server. So the quickest way to get back to that is to click on your root uh, folder for your .NET Nuke installation. Right click on it and say open as website in WebMatrix. This will start up WebMatrix. It'll start up the web server. And then you can click on the site tab to the right and then click on your URL which will open a browser to your website. Now let's log in as host. Then we're going, going to go to the main menu, the host extensions page. And then we'll click manage install extension wizard. And we're going to click browse and then we're going to find our package. Now if you, if, um, if you notice here we have two installation packages. One's called install and the other is called source. And as you know the difference between them is the source package actually contains our source code files, our CS files, where the install does not. The install is what you would normally want to distribute to your end user. What we're going to do is we're going to install the source package and this is a cool technique that that this template allows us to do and that this will quickly uh, allow us to register our module in .NET Nuke um, and it's the quickest way to do it but it will also overwrite our the module example folder which we created in Visual Studio but that's okay because it's just gonna overwrite it with a copy of the the entire source code anyway so let's go ahead and do that We'll click open and we'll click next. And all these things defined here are in our manifest that's, that was created by our template in our project. All this stuff can be changed in our project and should be changed for our module. But for now, we'll just go through this installation widget just so we can get our module installed. And I have to accept the license. And it finished the installation. As you can see, it ran our SQL scripts and copied our files. You know, nothing was in our SQL scripts, but that's okay. When I click return here, it takes a few seconds because .NET Nuke has to restart. The reason it has to restart is anytime you install a new module, if it installs a new assembly in the bin folder, your your um, website needs to restart. So let's go ahead and find our extension here called module example and here it is. And I'm going to click edit. And this is what the installation wizard did for us. It created this uh, the the extension and registered the extension basically. Uh, here's the folder, here's our module name, here's our business controller class that was created by the template and the module definitions which shows the view, the edit and the settings controls that are part of our module. So uh, everything's registered for us. One thing I'd like to add though, and this is fairly new, I think it's in DNN 6, is the module category. This lets us um, pick a category for our module so that we can quickly find it um, when we're adding it to the page. I'm going to select common and then I'm going to go ahead and update the definition. And I don't think that did it for us. Update, oh, uh, common update extension, I think. Okay, and now I'm going to close out of that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to actually create a page and I'm going to add our module to the page. So to do that, we'll go to admin page management. And I'm going to right click on the root and click add page. Now let's name the page. And here's
here's our page and we're going to add our module by clicking modules add new module we're going to pick category common because remember we categorize it under common and here's our new module and we'll simply add it to the page and let's go ahead and delete this default module here the text HTML that it creates now that we have our module on the page we can start building out our modules functionality and and test it so the next steps are we're going to start adding code to our data layer and we're going to start defining our view and our edit and our settings controls